supported by like, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And also, hit that little notification bell in the corner so that you'll get notice of each and every one of our live feeds. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Dennis Sperling here at Dennis Sperling Unfiltered. Welcome back. I'm happy to be here. I want to make sure, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I keep up my presence here on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. You guys know I do. Uh, we've come such a long way. Hit the number one button when you, when you get here. Make sure you check in. Let me know where you're checking in from. I want to uh, want to acknowledge you all. I appreciate you, gentlemen. I know it's been a, uh, about a month and a half since I have uh, been consistently on my YouTube page. A lot of that has to do with the fact that there's been an extreme uptick uh, <laughs> in, in legal work that I have to deal with at my office. So because of that, I've been forced to come back here and get the job done, uh, as always, as I have for the past 22 years. But um, here's the thing. Um, and, and shout out to my man, John Thomas. Thank you so much. He says, good afternoon, Uncle D. My man, what's happening? Jaquan Hunter from Richmond. VA, what's that? I got to make it up to Virginia, man. I heard it's some really good hunting up there. And uh, I hadn't been able to make it up there. I like to, used to go up to North Louisiana and do some hunting. But, uh, you know, I haven't made it to Virginia. But I heard y'all got some good hunting up there. I'm going to have to check it out, man. But shout out to Mr. Hunter. Shout out to Thomas. Uh, John Thomas, I appreciate you guys. Hit the number one button. Make sure you check in. That's kind of what I want you guys to do. As you see, I'm kind of changing the format up a little bit. I'm getting straight to it. And so it kind of takes a minute for people to come in. So, uh, you know, but that's fine. But what we're going to talk about, generally speaking, today is uh, the Manosphere. We're going to talk about this whole thing, this, this YouTube phenomenon, right? It's called the Manosphere. It's got everybody up in an uproar, right? And, and, the, and the main question is, who started the Manosphere? Who started? You got people coming out of the woodwork. I started. I'm the one that started this. And uh, for the most part, I haven't heard any of the people who actually started what is called the Manosphere speak about it. Now, you got the Manosphere, and then you got the Black Manosphere. So there's a question as to when the black manosphere separated off into the it, 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 from the main manosphere and what actually is that, especially considering one of the originators of the so-called black manosphere was a black man. Some of you guys didn't know that. Did you guys know that one of the originators of the black uh, of the manosphere itself was a black man? Who knew that? Did you guys know that? Who do you think started the Manosphere? I want to hear what everybody says. Who's who's the first person who came on preaching this red pill philosophy? Who was the first one that did it? Give me some names. I want to hear it. Shout out to Jock Wayne. He said Amelia Hunt County. That's where the hunting is. Great to know. Very little. Shout out to my all my members. Uh, my man tackling the Manosphere, DS. That's right, man. We're going to stay strong in it. See, I'm not doing this to pick fights. What I'm doing is I'm simply looking at what the conflict is about, and I'm removing the conflict. Wrench Turner, Obsidian will tell you that he wasn't the first one to start putting his red pill philosophy out. BGS Ibmore will tell you he's not the first one to start putting his red pill philosophy out. They'll tell you that. They may be the first one to begin to do what they're doing. John Thomas, you're on point. John Thomas says a Dominican man from New York forgot his name. Right. McInnes said Sandman. Somebody else said SWP. 
John, you're close. You're close. Do you know his name? Do you know his name? Huh? Because, see, this was, let me tell you what I've, the first person that I ever heard who was, uh, and I started in with MGTOW, okay? MGTOW, you can't really say the word, you'll get demonetized, right? So there are so many different people out there. Just because you're on YouTube doesn't mean you started the Manosphere. Just because you're black or white or whatever, or you're on the internet complaining about things that women do to you, that doesn't mean you started the manosphere. Who came up with the terminology? Did you guys see my stream with Sandman MGTOW here about a month and a half ago? Did you see that? Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? He didn't mention any of these names other than the one that, that John Thomas mentioned. He And he said, hey, where's the videos? If you say you started, where's the videos? And I know you guys want to discredit Sandman, who anybody who doesn't know who Sandman MGTOW is, if you don't know who uh, Raging Eagle is, if you don't know who um, Barbar is, if you don't know who Turd Fling TFM is, if you don't know these people, you really don't understand the origins of the Manosphere. And it, date ba it dates back more than five or six years or eight years. These guys date back. 13 years, 12 years. You see, this is these guys date back to 2007. So we're coming up on almost 15 years of manosphere, uh, a red pill philosophy that predates these so-called folks that think that they are the originators. So all I'm doing at this point, if I see two, because uh, basically what I see is two dogs bite, fighting over a bone. I'm just going to take that bone away from you with facts and logic. And you guys, you figure it out for yourselves. Why are we fighting over something? You got people claiming they did something, and I don't know what their purpose and what their reason is. Why are you claiming you invented something which you know you didn't? And then the other thing I want to specifically focus on, right, is when you listen to these men, because I got the videos. I got the videos that are date stamped for you. And so you will be able to see for yourself. And I want you to listen to these men, these great MGTOW red pill philosophers who started this thing first. Do they sound anything like the men who claim that they are the originators of the manosphere? No. And I would argue they do not have the depth of knowledge and information and education necessary to create this philosophy and articulate it. And, and captivate what now seems to be uh, the entire Western world. Shout out to my man, Wrench Turner. Thank you so much. So let's start. You guys ready? Hit the number one button. Make sure you check in. Big shout out. Let me see if I, let me take care of my guys first. I want to make sure I give a big shout out to Wrench Turner. Anybody else who contributed, you're welcome to do it. I appreciate you guys, man. Um, here's the thing. Um, and why is this even an issue now? Well, it's an issue because there's a lot of money to be earned in YouTube right now. And you got a lot of people. My man, Barry Little, says you remember an uh, interview with Sandman. Not everybody is going to be able to get an interview with Sandman. Not everybody's going to be able to get an interview with Paul Elam. Not everybody's going to be able to get an interview with Barbarossa. And these are the people that I plan or have brought to my channel because I'm going to end this internal conflict that exists between the black manosphere, because what you have is people out there making up stuff about what they did and they just didn't do it. And if you want to prove me wrong, let's see the date stamps on the videos. All right. But why is this a big deal? Well, the reason being is Kevin Samuels has is one of the hottest rising stars in the mainstream media, along with the lead attorney. He has caused uh, lead attorney. He's caused for what uh, was now an insignificant corner of YouTube known as the black manosphere. Right. And it's now going mainstream. And what does that mean? There's a lot of money out there to be made. Never forget, this is about money and fame and clout. There are people who want to be respected. There are people who want to be known as the finders of this gold mine and they want credit for it. And, they, and it's undeserved. Right. This is what they want. They want something for something that they didn't invent. Right. And so I had an opportunity to discuss the history of the Manosphere 
with Sandman MGTOW, who is by all accounts, and everybody will agree, one of the originators of the Manosphere itself. He is actually the inventor of the term red pill rage. We got red pill. We remember that from the, from the Matrix. But red pill rage, which is something that's extremely crucial to the understanding of this philosophy, was coined by this gentleman, Sandman, who we know, we know, we know nothing about him other than the fact he's a white guy from Canada. But what we're going to do today is we're going to discuss the history of MRM. Do you know what that is? We're going to discuss the history of MRA, MGTOW, all of which were predecessors to the Manosphere. And the man and the men who laid the foundation, those are the originators of the Manosphere. Not these Johnny come lately who are coming along saying, I invented this and I invented that. You were on the internet talking stuff. That doesn't mean you're a progenitor of the Manosphere. That's just not what that means. You know, there are a lot of people who were uh, traveling out west and going to California, but not everybody was a cowboy. That's the difference. Not everybody was out there driving uh, 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 cattle from Texas to Missouri. You were just out there. You were just making videos on the Internet. And then when you saw this, you wanted to latch on and say, well, I was here first. No, you weren't. And how do we know? Not only are we going to look into the date stamps, but we're going to look into the substance of what was said. The first person I want to bring up, who most of you guys don't know, and it's a shame that you claim something, oh, I'm a member of the Manosphere, I start, and you don't even know these people. And it's a shame. But before we go any further, let's just go ahead and get it cracking, right? Big shout out to Barbar. You guys know who Barbar is? Also known as Barbarossa? If you don't, that's a shame. Stop claiming you know the Manosphere. Stop it. Don't do that anymore. I'm going to put a, a video link. Uh, it, well, the video link is in the comment section. This is Barbarossa's page. This man only has 34 point nine uh 34,000 not even 35,000 subscribers but this gentleman right by all accounts according to uh sandman this man and uh thinking ape were the first ones to come up with the, with with the philosophy of the manosphere and now this is his second page from 12 years ago so what does that mean fellas that means that his page was up and active and talking about Red pill issues, right? Way back in 2010. You understand what I'm saying? His first video was up in 2007. And what was that video that he discussed? Huh? Do you guys remember that? Well, according to Sandman, it talks about why you shouldn't date and marry. This is what he was doing. This is Sandman. Let's go ahead and listen to a little bit of Sandman's philosophy. I mean, not Sandman, Barbar's philosophy. Now, do you know anything about him? Do you know anything about Barbar? And I'm just scrolling through. I just, you know, and I'm doing this because I want to end this conflict. Now, the thing about Barbarossa is he only does about one video a year. I've reached out to him on several occasions. He's very elusive. You know, I understand, you know, but he is one of the progenitors of this page. And unless you have a video that's older than 10 years old, that's specifically talking about MGTOW, that's talking about red pill. Like, look at this, right? So it, it, then you're not you're not one of the founders of the Manosphere. You need to cut it out. You need to stop trying to take credit for things that you didn't start. Now, again, I'm only doing this because I want to end this unnecessary conflict. Here's one from MGTOW seven years ago. Those of you guys who don't know MGTOW, you don't truly understand how red pill philosophy uh, uh, started. Here's one seven years ago where he's talking about gynocentricism. OK, just look at the topics and then go through. The link is in the chat room. Here's one from eight, 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 uh, eight years ago. More MGTOW channels. This is when most of your so-called uh, progenitors of the black manosphere popped up about eight years ago. Stardust. Do you know who Stardust is? Have you listened to him? If you don't, you can't claim it. Let's keep going back. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Nine years ago, more gynocentricism right here. Okay, look at this. Um, Barbarossa, that's what he calls himself, or Barbar for short. 
marriage goes south. This is what he, traditionalism and chivalry and uh, the other feminism. There he's explaining that traditionalism and chivalry is just a flip side to feminism. He's been breaking this down for over a decade. Okay, female R.A.P.E. fantasy. You hear people talking about this stuff. They're only taking rewashed concepts and verbs that they didn't invent and didn't understand. And when you listen to Barbar, when you hear how he speaks, you can hear how well-spoken and intelligent and thoughtful he is. This is not just someone on the Internet who's rambling, you know, and, and trying to create a right wing war on terror of misandry 11 years ago. OK, this is not just someone who's speaking just to try to jar up your emotions. That's not what he's doing. Examining the rights of feminists fight for or examining the right feminists fight for MRAs, men's rights advocates. OK, uh, MGTOW from 12 years ago. Right. Where were these so-called inventors of the manosphere 12 years ago in 2010? Probably somewhere listening to some uh, 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 gangster rap. That's probably where they were. To black MRAs, Obama is not your friend. MRA men's rights advocates. OK, so let's take a listen uh, to what he was saying. OK. And uh, shout out, and my man, thank you so much. I want to give a, I'm going to give a shout out to everybody. But listen. Most dependent on the family. The family is that most important foundation. And we are called to recognize and honor how critical every father is to that foundation. They are teachers and coaches, they're mentors and they're role models. They are examples of success and the men who constantly push us towards success. But if we're honest with ourselves, we'll admit that too many fathers are also missing. Too many fathers are MIA. Too many fathers are AWOL, missing from too many lives and too many homes. They've abandoned their responsibilities. They're acting like boys instead of men. And the foundations of our family have suffered because of it. You and I know this is true everywhere, but nowhere is it more true than in the African-American community. All right. So what I want to do is lay the foundation for what's happening here. This is Barbarossa's first video on his second channel. His first channel was, was up in 2000, I believe 2007. Uh, let me double check. I'll, I'll double check for you and I'll try to find a site for that. But what you see him, this is his very first video. He was compelled to come out of retirement and make this his very first video, which talks about, which explains to black men's rights advocates that Obama is not your friend. This is in 2010 when Barack Obama was still the president. And this meant two years after he became, what is Barack Obama doing? He's at a black church telling black men in the black church and black women that black men are no good. This is, and, and they're not good fathers. Not five years later, a study came out which shows that black men are the most uh, uh, involved fathers of any other group. So that means that study probably started two or three years beforehand. But Barack Obama did not go out and retract what his statement was, that black men are the most involved as opposed to the most uninvolved. This is what Barbarossa put out. Now, I want you to listen how Barbara, uh, how Barbarossa critiques this. And for those guys who don't know who Barbarossa is, let me explain something to you, man. He is an Afro-Dominican, which means he is a black man. Of, of 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 from Latin America, specifically the Dominican Republic. He lives in New York or lived in New York, and I believe he's still in the new new based on his latest video, which he only drops one a year. He's still in the New England area. This is this this is the man who fundamentally back in 2007 put the first videos up and was talking about red pill philosophy. A black man started the manosphere. 
it was black American men at some point later, I guess maybe 2013, 14, decided to split what was the, the manosphere, which had also been uh, involved white, other men from other races. They decided to start the black manosphere. But at the end of the day, the manosphere itself started this philosophy help was helped created or, or started by a black man. So how can you part from something that's already black and start a black manosphere? Think about that. I want you to think about that. If you got a black man who started the manosphere and his name and started the philosophy and got a role. And of course there were other MRAs and other people and they're like, uh, we can't forget uh raging Eagle or now who refers to himself as thinking, Hey, he was there too. And this is a white guy. But fundamentally, you got a black man at the start of this. So why then do you have to start something called the black manosphere if it was started by a black man in the first place, i.e. a Dominican man from New York named Barbarossa? You didn't start it, though, fellas. That's the most important thing. If this thing started in 2007 and you didn't pop up until 2014 or 15, you damn well didn't start the black manosphere why are you making fights and pretending you're something you're not? Let's continue to listen to what Barbarossa has to say, okay, as his response to Barack Obama. We know that more than half of all black children live in single-parent households. Half. A number that have behavioral problems. Hi. Who are to blame? Each and every last one of you who adopted the feminist. Let me, get, let me slide this back, man, because I want y'all to see what this brother is talking about. Okay. And this video is entitled to Black MRAs. Obama's not your friend. And I'm going to start right at five minutes. The purpose of this video. Listen, this is Barbarossa. This is to show that Obama should in no way be paraded around as some sort of achievement for men's rights activists of any race whatsoever. Now, there's nothing wrong with being proud of the fact that we have a black president. However, if that same president begins to wrongly place blame on men for the state of the American family unit. Now, let me put this in context. This was in 2020, 20, uh, 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 2010, okay, 2012. Do you know how revolutionary it was in, 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 20, uh, in 20, uh, 2010? to speak against Barack Obama? Do you know how revolutionary it was for a black man to speak against Barack Obama in 2010, which is what Barbarossa is doing publicly? Listen, and listen to what he's saying. Listen to what this brother is saying. The same rhetoric that you hear recycled over and over and over and over again now was started way back then, at least as far as the black man is. Listen to what he's talking about. Men's rights. That's the precursor to what? Red pill. It's the precursor to MGTO and all this other stuff that you have. So stop listening to these men mislead you. Why are they fighting about something? They're claiming they have started something that they did not start. They're claiming they're the progenitors of something that they are not the originators of. They are lying to you. And they do that because they don't think you know enough. There are those of us who know who don't bother to tell you. Because why? You should know. But what I'm trying to do here is end this conflict so you, the viewers here on YouTube, you, the men of the Manosphere, black, white, or whatever, you can say, hey, man, what about this video? Why is this guy talking about what you were talking about yesterday 12 years ago. And it's my understanding he has a video talking about the same thing back in 2007. Why is it that you're now claiming to be the originator of this thing when you're clearly not? You don't even have the intellectual capacity to come up with the concepts that this gentleman has come up with, which has now captured the Western world in this new burgeoning philosophy. You are not Barbarossa. You are not this man. Why is it that we now have a black manosphere when the black manosphere itself was originated by a black man? When, at what point did the manosphere become 
not black enough for its originator. And now we had to separate ourselves and refer to it as a black manuscript. Explain that to me. That's not even logical. If it was started by a black manosphere, why didn't we have to separate and call ourselves the black manosphere when the manosphere itself was started in the philosophy, this red pill philosophy was started by Barbarossa, a black man from the Caribbean by way, uh, a black man from New York by way of the Dominican Republic. Explain that. So let's continue to listen to this eloquent, well-spoken brother. And I want you to compare his way of speaking and his thoughtful words to some of these individuals that you hear now claiming that they started this philosophy. Listen to how he speaks. Listen to this well-spoken, well-thought-out uh, 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 philosophy being so eloquently demonstrated and, 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 and put out there for you. Listen to Barbarossa. And more specifically, the Black American Family Unit. Then those men's rights activists who seek to address the problem, regardless of what race you are, have a moral and ethical responsibility to expose Obama as the deceiver that he is. You see, we have to place blame on the powerful politicians and the ones who control them for instituting no-fault divorce, for example, so that women don't have to fear losing their ultimate bargaining chip after divorce, their children. We have to blame people like Obama's vice president, Joe Biden, for draft, drafting up VAWA, the Violence Against Women's Act, and giving them and, and giving them the backing of a nationwide police force, which they use to throw men in jail over bullshit domestic abuse charges. Woo! We have to blame the welfare system for So you just heard Barbarossa explain to you why the family law system is unfair in marriage. He also talked about fake allegations of DV. This is the same stuff that you hear these men talking about now. Where did they get it from? They got it from Barbarossa, who then someone heard him and they heard him. But you're, you're like in the fifth or sixth generation of the Black Manosphere or the Manosphere in general. But let's go back to where it started. These men that you're listening to now did not start the black man. It's those who I haven't heard a peep out of Barbarossa. Period. I haven't heard a peep out of this man talk about what he started, what he did. But he, along with a golden raging eagle, uh, eagle I mean, now he refers to himself as, as thinking, hey, these are the men that should be given credit for this. So all of these other men who are claiming that they did this, you don't have the intellectual capacity, nor the knowledge, nor the philosophy, nor the understanding to even create such a philosophy that would captivate the world. It was this black man from New York named Barbarossa that did it, not you. So stop claiming you're even the progenitor of the black manosphere, because if a black man started it first, then he was the first black man in the black manosphere who happened to be uh, uh, <laughs> who, who, who is in himself the, the, the originator, progenitor of the manosphere. This is what I'm saying. This is this is all I'm asking you guys to do. Be logical. Now, I want to introduce you to someone else who a brother of mine on the page uh, showed me. This gentleman is Thug Titian. Do you guys know who Thug Titian is? Now, compare him, right? Let's listen. I want you to listen to, and this is from 12 years ago. Listen to Barbarossa. Listen to Thug Titian. Hear these men speak. Hear how eloquent they are. Okay? How well-spoken they are. And you tell me, do they compare to the men that you hear now? Now, let's go to his page. It's right here. Okay, let's see when it started. Okay, Thug Titian, 12 years ago, first video, living in a feminist, uh, man-hating matriarchy. Part one, two, three, four, and five. He's talking about the same things 12 years ago that folks are talking about now, but they're taking credit for it. This is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Let me pull this up, man. I, I want to make sure we get this. And unfortunately, you know, I have work to do. So I only have my lunch hour to talk to you guys about this. But the links are in the chat room, and we're definitely going to have to revisit this because we're going to end this unnecessary conflict. You always have men 
who come in between black men and try to get us to conflict and, and try to force you to choose sides, right? And that's what you have. Anybody claiming they started the black manosphere is someone who's forcing you to choose sides and, and giving you misinformation to do it. They're forcing conflict where there should be no conflict. This is Thug Titian. He's also a black man who is from London, right? So along with the white guys who came along after Barbarossa or right there with Barbarossa, you also have another black man named Thug Titian. Now listen to what he has to say. Let's, 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 let's look at his videos. Living in a feminist, man-hating matriarchy. What do you think that's about? Women's sexuality is the cause of your pain. What do you think that's about? Liberated and unhappy. That's a precursor to MGTO. Feminist shaming witch. You think these clowns who just popped up understand the context for which they can invent a term like shaming language and, 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 and lace that with feminism? No. But let's listen to what this well-spoken black man had to say. Listen. So here's a question for all the feministas who like to attack me and other MRAs with their typically weak shaming statements. Is that all you got? I mean, really, what with female college graduates outnumbering male college graduates these days and getting all those big jobs and everything, I thought there'd be a little more rigor and substance to your comments. You gals read all those books and stuff, don't you? What's the matter? Didn't get enough ammo from Naomi Wolf back there in that alma mater of yours? Too busy shopping to formulate any independent ideas? Hell, I thought the world of debate between MRAs and feminists would be an okay corral of ideas and exchanges. What a letdown. I mean, really. What a loser. LOL. Now, do you hear these men speaking like that? These modern day guys who say that they are the progenitors and the originators. I know, and that's not Thug Titian. That's on his page. That's something that he had posted on his page. I'm actually going to get Thug Titian for you right quick. But uh, it, it played, and so I didn't want to upset the play while it was happening. But do you, do you see how, and that video itself is also 12 years old. But do you see how well-spoken these men are? That's the question. Do, do these sound like uneducated, ignorant men to you? Does he, do these sound like dudes who just are fresh out of the penitentiary to you? Is that how these men sound to you? Or do they sound like educated, well-spoken, well-thought men? That's the question. This, this is what I want to ask you guys. Okay? Welcome, brothers. Now. It's occurred to me recently that the only men who can truly claim to be men's rights activists or advocates are fathers' rights campaign groups like Fathers for Justice, which was created here in the UK. Fathers for Justice have taken their rhetoric onto the streets and this is here fathers from fathers' rights issues to the top of the social agenda. The rest of the so-called movement really is just a wine fest for every kind of sexually unfulfilled loser to sing the can't get laid blues. The so this is Thug Titian here. And if you can hear, he has a British accent. And so the other guy, that wasn't Thug Titian, but he was someone that Thug Titian cited. But the point being, this is 12 years ago, and these guys were talking about this stuff already. And you don't hear them running up in 2022 talking about, yeah, I'm the founder of the Manosphere. They did what they did and they moved The overarching on. theme in most listening. men's rights websites and YouTube channels purporting to advocate for men's rights is that if only women stopped choosing thugs, bad boys, losers, deadbeats, and so on, and instead picked nine to five wage slaves whose only outstanding quality is their mind-numbing averageness, women would be much happier. It's just another brand of man blaming, only this time it's men blaming men instead of women blaming men. According to the thug blaming script, there are bad men and there are good men, and women should pick the good men. The thing is, everybody thinks they're the good guy. The bad guy is every other guy. Mm -hmm. If you ask most so called thugs or bad boys whether they see, them, see themselves as mistreaters of women, they'd probably tell you to go fuck yourself. And they could probably point out just as many examples of so-called respectable men who mistreat women and actually present themselves as the best option for women. Which is why a men's rights movement has failed to catch on. There's just too many for whom men's rights simply means okay. I have the right to more pussy than the next guy because now, I respect women. You will have an opportunity. None to, of these. So you guys will have an opportunity to really dig into these these gentlemen 
philosophy and what they're saying on your own time. I just want you to simply listen to them and listen how well spoken they are. They're not on there ranting and raving and all these sort of crazy things. They're speaking eloquently and brilliantly. These are educated, thoughtful men, not the raving lunatics that you have on YouTube who are, who are there solely to jar up your emotions, right? And, and get you to, you know, follow along with them, right? Now, someone else who I also would like to introduce you guys to, because many of you guys, you embrace this so-called red pill, red pill philosophy, but you don't know the people who laid the foundation for it, right? Now, maybe Paul Proteus is someone you've heard of, but have you actually listened to his videos? Now, let's start by going to his page. I want to share his page with you real quick. OK, and remember this, the whole point of this is to eliminate the need for black men to keep fighting each other about who started the manosphere and who started the black manosphere. I think it's very clear that a black man started the black manosphere. So you can't start something black, which already has black roots. Patrice O'Neill is a comedian. He never coined the term red pill. He never coined the term. Uh, 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 he never came up with this philosophy. He was just someone who was clearly awake. When we're talking about a philosophy, when we're talking about uh, who started it, you got to look at who are the progenitors of the terms that govern it, the rules that govern it. This is what I'm saying. And yes, rest in peace, Paul Proteus. Just I want you guys to continue listening, okay? Um, let's can, I, I want this is his page. Um, this is a picture of Paul Proteus. Some of you guys may have known, some of you don't. Uh, he passed away several years back. Um, I want you guys to keep listening. And uh, this is a little long, right? So we won't listen to the whole thing, but let's listen. Be right there. Hold on one minute. Go. Listen. So there you. I would kind of feel like a little kid who wanted to play with a toy, but the big kids wouldn't let me play with it, and they only gave it to me when it was almost broken and they lost interest in it. Okay, that's the way I see it. And as far as I'm concerned, there's people who jump up and down and go, "Yes, but the sanctity of marriage." Look, when 50% of marriages are ending in divorce and you have most jurisdictions with common law marriages when you have no fault divorce there, there there's no sanctity in the motherfucker so this so this black man is telling you right this black man is telling you um, years ago right paul proteus is telling you years ago that there's no sanctity in marriage. He's explaining to you that 50% of marriages end in divorce. These guys weren't on YouTube then. They weren't doing what Paul Proteus was doing back then. This is so why are they now cap uh, trying to accept fault, uh, accept uh, credit for something they didn't do and they didn't start with? Look at this man. And on top of that, he's one of the brothers that's showing you his face. You see what I mean? And he's putting himself up there for public, public scrutiny. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, and, and we're going to go ahead and, and just get to the nitty gritty. Why is all there this conflict? I've shown you three black men, Thug Titian, Paul Proteus, and Barbarossa, who predate all of these men who claim to be the progenitors of the black manosphere and the progenitor of the manosphere itself. So what does that tell you about them? If they can't show you a video that's 12 years old and 13 years old, where they're talking about MGTOW philosophy or red pill philosophy or MGTO, then how can they then say they started something and they don't have any evidence for it? If, 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 if red pill philosophy, if, if the so-called manosphere began on YouTube, 
Where are your YouTube date stamped videos? That's what I'm asking you. See, black men are tired of people lying to them. And what you have right now are a lot of people who are very unimportant, who want to be important. A lot of people who want respect and they're willing to do anything for it. I'm not on here telling you that I started uh, the Manosphere. I'm not telling you that I started MGTOW. I'm not telling you that I started Red Pill Philosophy. I'm telling you I understand it. I'm telling you that men in the Holy Bible understood it. Men in philosophy and the creators of law understood it. But as far as this little thing called the Manosphere and this Red Pill Philosophy or this Men's Awakening Movement, I didn't do it. I'm not going to lie to you like that. Integrity is what prevents me from doing that. But there are a lot of men on YouTube who have no integrity. They are unimportant men. They have not accomplished anything in their true real lives. And so what do they do? They can get on here and be whoever they want to be and pretend they're more than what they are. When in reality, they're just little, tiny, unimportant men. But the fact of the matter is, the fact that they would claim something, that is not something that they uh, are the progenitors of, shows you that they should not be trusted. It demonstrates to you, if you are willing to steal the intellectual property, the brilliance of a Barbarossa, the brilliance of a Thug Titian, the brilliance of a Paul Proteus, and steal it and take it for yourselves. What does that show? You will take from your own black brothers and claim it for yourself. You are not to be trusted by the rest of these black men by any of us. They know that they're lying to you and they're willing to do it. And on top of that, it's causing deceit and dissension in the ranks. And let me tell you something else. These black men, Barbarossa, who does he sound like? Does he sound like an uneducated, no good <clears throat> scoundrel who's been in and out the penitentiary? No. He sounds like an educated, well-spoken man, even if it's not a formal education. Does Thug Titian sound like some unintelligent Neanderthal who makes threats to people over the internet? No. He sounds like an intelligent, educated, well-spoken man. You all would call him an educated lame, wouldn't you? So who is he? Who are these originators more like? And, and BJS Idmore, shout out to BJS Idmore. He's an engineer. Thug Titian is an engineer. Now, there are people like BGS Idmore who know the history, but I understand he probably tired of talking. He put it in videos. If you would listen, you would find. But some of you all gravitate towards the spectacle. You gravitate towards the beef and who's arguing with this and who's arguing with that. So you got educated men who are the progenitors and originators of the Manosphere itself, who are all black, i.e. Barbarossa and, and Thug Titian, who I, you got, you argue with it? There's a date stamp. Argue with that 12-year-old video. Argue, argue with that video from 2007 that Barbarossa made. Tell me what you were doing back then. And then you can tell me you're the originator of this. But until then, you're just lying. And you're keeping up beef and static between black men where there should be none. There's no legitimate beef between black men on the of, of, of this of this fear this thing which could be something great which was started uh in part by black men there's no real beef but you got people who are unimportant who want to who want to be wannabes who are nothing like the originators who jumped in i'm gonna ask you this who do you think barbarossa would appreciate most who do you think thug titian would appreciate most would he appreciate a Dr. T. Hassan Johnson? I think so. Would he appreciate a green gorilla taking what he created and carrying that forward? I believe so. Would he appreciate a Dr. Ron O'Neill taking what he created and carrying that forward? I think so. I'm going to ask him. I had a phenomenal conversation with Sandman. And you know what he told me? Let me tell you what he told me. Because <laughs> I'm a reader. Shout out to Sandman. MGTO, those of you guys who were uh, here for that, you remember that conversation I'd had with him. But this is what he sent to me after it was over. And so it lets me know having respect for him and what he, because having respect for him, 
white, black, or whatever. And of course, we're talking about uh, some of our black creators. But he basically told me he appreciated the format of my channel. He appreciated how it flowed. He appreciated what I did. And so in that, I am continuing forward in, 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 in the vein of men's right activism. You see, I'm continuing forward. I'm not on here spewing this emotional rhetoric to try to get you guys fired up. I'm not trying to be on here get to try to force you to choose sides between this current manosphere person and that current manosphere person. We are all black men. And the last thing we need to do is continue fighting. Let's look at the truth for what it is. The truth is there was a Barbarossa before there was any of these people. There was a thug Titian before there was any of these people. And both of these black, both of these men were black, one from New York, one from the United Kingdom. So why is it that you're now allowing these other men to come in and take credit for what these black men did? And how shady is a black man that he's willing to take credit for something that another black man and say his own? Are these the type of men that you want to follow? That's the question that you have to ask yourself. I think not. Now, the link to Barbarossa's first video is in the chat room. The link to his channel is in the credit section, uh, in, in the description section. Now you have no excuse. I'm going to give you another link to Thug Titian because I want you to listen to all of this man's videos, and they're not a lot. He doesn't have 600 videos. They don't have a lot. But listen to them, and what you will hear is, you will hear the echoes of this well-spoken philosophy now being spewed across the internet by men who are claiming that they created it when they didn't, and that's unfortunate. So let's give credit to credit due. Yes, I would say that the black men, the, the, the manosphere itself was created by black men. Now, of course, you have your thinking apes, you have your raging eagles, and you have those like Sandman who were that second wave that came in and whip that stuff together. Those are white men. But the bottom line, at its essence, you got Barbarossa, who was the first one in 2007 to come up with that video. And everybody else piggybacked off that. It started slow. But let's not take credit away from that man and what he's done. Let's not let these Johnny come latelys who all here screaming and hollering about what they did take credit for something that another black man did. And then also I want you to listen to the well-spoken, intelligent statements and well thought out philosophy of these men, not just Thug Titian and Barbarossa, but also Paul Proteus, rest in peace. Listen to them and ask yourself, who do they sound more like in modern times? Who do you think created the manosphere? These well-spoken, intelligent, educated men or these clowns that you hear uh, spewing off craziness on the internet right now, claiming that they created it? That's what I want you to ask yourself. But go ahead, you guys. If you appreciate what I'm doing, man, make sure you hit the number one button. Go ahead and do that now. I'm going to take a quick commercial. I'll be right back. All right? And we'll chop it up some more. Hey, if you're enjoying the content here at Dennis Sperling Unfiltered, make sure you support it by like, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And also, hit that little notification bell in the corner so that you'll get notice of each and every one of our live feeds. All right, so we want to give a shout out to Wrench Turner. He said, keep pushing, black man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Urban Eagle, thank you so much. Uh, Vernon Yu, he said, thank you for shedding light on the great men. They were great men. They were great men, and we need to give these men, these men who actually started the Manosphere, Barbarossa, Thug Titian, uh, uh, even the Raging Golden Eagle, Thinking Ape, White, Black, whatever, we need to give them their credit. And stop letting these fools that, 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 that barely are able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, speak the English language, uh, you know, much less create some profound philosophy that has changed Western society. Stop letting them take credit for something that they didn't earn. Please don't let them steal from your brothers. That's what I'm trying to get you to do. Stop letting them steal credit from something that, that Barbarossa and Thug Titian and, uh, and all these, even the white dudes, give credit where credit is due. This is not a racial thing. This is a fact thing. If you know at the beginning, 12 years ago, 15 years ago, there was Barbarossa, uh, 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 Thinking Eight, Thug Titian, Paul Proteus. Stop giving these current uh, modern day 22, uh, 2022 clowns credit for starting the Manosphere or the Black Manosphere. It's not cool, man. It's not cool at all. 
Shout out to Vernon. You said preach, Mr. Sperling. Uh, very little. Thank you so much. I appreciate the contribution. Um, Urban Eagle, thank you again, brother. I appreciate Urban Eagle. Urban Eagle, thank you so much, man. Uh, Vernon, you, thank you, too. I appreciate you uh, You guys contributing. Big shout out to BJS. It's always good to see you here. Vernon, you. Let's see who else we got. We got John Thomas. He said, thanks for the information, Uncle D. Definitely some more videos to check out of the history of the manuscript. Understand the past helps us make good decisions. Here's the thing. You can't even understand red pill philosophy unless you understand all the terminology and, and where it came from. You got to go to the source. It's just like practicing law. You understand what the code book says. You understand what the rhetoric, what they're saying right now, but you don't understand the philosophy behind it. So you can't take it forward because you don't understand its origins. And so the reason why the manosphere is stagnant right now, you got people beefing with each other, is because they're claiming they invented something which they didn't, and they don't know how to move it forward because they don't truly understand the philosophy of the manosphere because they didn't invent it. They don't have, they got, they got the rules, but they don't have the theory behind the rules. So they can't then go back in the theory take that theory and adapt it and apply it to current day situations. That's why you're lost. That's why all you hear is the same stuff over and over and over again. Men complaining about women, blah, blah, blah. We got that. We got that back in 2013 and 2014. Listen to Sandman's videos. We got that back in 2012. Listen to Barbarossa. We got it back in 2010. Listen to Barbarossa and Thug Titian and Paul Pro Proteus. That's what I'm saying. Stop letting these brothers steal from these other black men, man. That ain't cool. Uh, shout out to Jay Shine. He said, I've been around since 2007, 2008. Ain't nobody running around saying they are the manosphere or claiming they started it. It's a lie. That's true. He right. They need to cut that out, man. And, and it's creating unnecessary conflict when it doesn't have to be any. You got brothers picking and choosing. Oh, who started it? I started it. No, it's been around for almost two decades now, man. Cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Cut it out. My man, unfortunately, black folk don't care about the truth. You damn right about that. They have joined the YouTube churches, right? And, and their pastor content creator can, can do no wrong. That's, we went from the pro-blacks <clears throat> had us in the 20s. Uh, I mean, had us in the, in the 80s and the 90s, right? And now the, 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 the modern-day preacher is the YouTube content creator. And if your preacher ain't, is, don't like the other people's preacher across town, oh, Lord. It's a war. That's what's going on. Unnecessary conflict. They know just how to appeal to your emotions. They're doing the same thing to you that those pastors doing. They're lacing a little bit of truth with a whole lot of, li a whole lot of lies, forcing you black men to pick sides, and they're picking your pockets with it, getting you all emotional. You, well, I like this. It's like a football game now. This is no longer about the MRA. This is no longer about uh, uh, black men. Uh, 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 speaking up the truth for themselves. It's about who's beefing with who. The first video that, that Barbarossa made in his second channel was telling black uh, men's rights activists and all men's rights activists that Barack Obama was not their friend. He did that back in 2010, two years after this man was elected, when he was still the golden prince of black America, when he was still the Jesus of the black community. That's when he did that. That's how bold and strong and 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 an important Barbarossa was or is because he's still alive. You understand what I'm saying, fellas? So let's stop letting these suckers fake you out, man. Look, I gotta go to work, man. I, I hate to uh, cut this thing short, I, I, but man, I, I have a, a hearing <laughs> that started at two o'clock. It's 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 a, it's a uh, Zoom meeting, and I'm supposed to be involved in it, but I, I kind of got carried away. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Maybe we can revisit this. If you appreciate what I'm doing, man, contribute to the Super Chat, the Cash App, and the PayPal. But other than that, man, uh, the only thing I want to say is we need to kill this conflict. Anybody keeping up this mess, any of you YouTubers who keep claiming that you started the black man and spin when you know goddamn well you didn't, you're a goddamn liar. And you're stealing from Barbarossa. You're stealing from Thug Titian. You're stealing from Paul Proteus. You're a thief. And you deserve what a thief is supposed to get. You need to be punished for that. And the rest of you black men, the next time you hear one of these clowns say that, you just take that link that I posted in the description section and you say, explain this. Well, if you the first one, why was this man talking about it 15 years ago? Sir, be respectful. 
and tell them Uncle D sent you. Other than that, man, this is Uncle D. I love y'all and I'm out. <laughs>